we are up and out very well quite early not as early as I wanted to be because we can't sleep properly at night time and so we slept in a little bit too long but it's about what time is it half ten ish about half ten and we are on our way to the Great Wall of China and I'm so flipping excited you excited oh quick now <laughs> very excited for today From what I've read online, it seems quite complicated or whatever, but actually so far, it's going well. I will report back in a little bit if it is actually the, I, that easy. This is our bus, the 916 Express. I think we're on the right bus. I think we're on the 916. It didn't have a thing on the front of it when it came. It did park in the 916 space, so we're just going to go with it. See what happens. It's a long bus ride. This one's gone to sleep, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I would have talking. To be honest, I would have done it. Wouldn't for the fact of having to find our stop, I would have done it as well. We've arrived. We've come to the Mutanyu section of the wall. We've just got our tickets. It's cost us 300, no, 290, Stephen's a student uh, price. 290 for our entrance. The cable car up and the slide down. No, not well, no, like a ski lift thing. Skiing. Honestly, I'm crapping myself a little bit about going up in these things. I'm just not good with things like this at all, but it'll be alright. It was relatively easy to get here, in all honesty. Once we got off the bus, um, there was loads of taxis and things, and we just got into one of the cars. We joined in with another couple and shared the car up to here. It's about a 30 minute drive from the bus station up to the wall. So we've got three sets of tickets. We've got these ones which are shuttle bus tickets. We need to take a shuttle bus from this visitor's entrance, which we're just about to get now. And then we've got these ones which are for our toboggan ride and our cable car up. And then these ones which are our entrance tickets. my eyes in a minute because we're getting a bit higher. Oh crap. Oh, it. It's Shut up. Oh look, there's the slide that we're going to come down on. our first glimpse of the wall. See it? Oh yeah. We've arrived, got up to the top, I didn't cry, I was all right. Look at that! We're on the wall, this is crazy. That looks steep though up ahead. We're going down at the moment, but oh, look at that. Oh. Got to get to that watchtower up there. Right, we're about to start this walk up. It looks a hell of a lot steeper. Now we're right up close. Oh my goodness. Can you appreciate the steepness of this on camera? Yeah. <laughs> That man agrees with me. Extremely steep. Look at the size of these stairs. Like, I'm not joking, you literally have to use your hands to climb up this thing. I'm 
we thought it was steep before. No, this is on another level. Not running. Oh my god, kids crazy. on the Great Wall of China. It's amazing. We're making our way back down now. We've still got to walk on the other side. It's pretty epic up here. Here we go. We've done the down bit. We need to go back up now. <laughs> we are done on the wall. I'm so I can't speak. I'll speak to you in a minute. I've ever done. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. Tobogganing down. That was awesome. But our time at the wall is all done. We're heading back to the start. We're going to get our shuttle bus back and I think the plan is that the taxi driver that brought us from the train station and the people that we shared the taxi with, we are meeting them back at the start at four o'clock. Hopefully that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We've got back to the entrance, it's about it's five to four. So our taxi driver isn't here and the people that we share the taxi with aren't here yet either. I'm just gonna sit down and wait and see. We found the people that we got a taxi with, they're just behind us there, but our taxi driver isn't here yet. I think he'll come, we only paid him half. So he should come, well, we bought if we paid him in the end. We're pretty sure the taxi driver's not coming, the bastard so we're gonna have to try and sort something else out to get back to the um, bus stop 
we found him. He was late though. Also, he's diddled us out of more money. I'll tell you about it in a minute. We made it back on the 916 bus, heading back into the city now. This is going to be like an hour. I might have a little rest now. Right, you. We're still on this bus. It's now gone dark. I don't know why. It's taken so long, but I do know why. Traffic is absolutely mental. We're finally off that bus. I feel like I've been hours on that bus for ages, hours and hours and hours. I don't, it was probably like an hour and a half or something. I'm just gonna get run over by a bus. It's just dropped us off. Like, but I don't know. We need to find the train station. I've no idea where it is. Should be around here somewhere, but where I don't know. I'm there, I think. It's half past nine and we have only just got back. It took us four hours to get there and five hours to get back. But oh my goodness, it was so worth it. Such an amazing, amazing thing to have done. It was awesome. I've got now, Stephen is just having a little bit of something to eat. and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pack up tonight. We are leaving Beijing tomorrow. On to the next location, still in China, but we're just moving on somewhere different. I was kind of thinking I can't really be bothered to pack up tonight, but I think I will. Our train is about 12 o'clock tomorrow, I think. So I think we have to leave maybe around nine-ish, just to be sure. We haven't got our, collected our tickets yet, and so I don't know how easy that process is. So we're gonna leave with plenty of time, just in case that is as difficult as everything else seems to be for me in China. I'm gonna go pack, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching today. I hope you had an awesome day, whatever you did. I bet it wasn't as awesome as my day, though. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.